because I have to get up early tomorrow morning. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you another match from the round of eight. Cryok versus Pike. Uh, I already did True Touch versus Enjoy Me that True Touch won, so the winner of this match will face uh, True Touch in the other semifinal, uh, which has been postponed to tomorrow, unfortunately. But uh, And then the winner of that will move on to the group stages. So if Pike wins, it's going to be a ZVZ, so we're going to have another Zerg for sure. If Cryox somehow wins, I think Cryox definitely the underdog here, but if Cryox somehow wins, then it will be a TVZ, and Cryox could potentially potentially make it through. But Okay, so Cryox, th thus far, he's beaten um, Eon Zerg in the round of 32, and Gotunk in the round of 16. So he's taken out two really good players already, but I don't know, man. Winning a best of three against Pike, first of all, is is no joke. And then taking out True Touch as well, he's he would have to be scanned to do that. Um, having said that, let's go into the game. Spawning as the Yellow Terran in the 12 o'clock position, we have DM Cryok. And in the 6 o'clock, as the Blue Zerg, we have LRM Pike. Uh, so let me do that. Alright. Now, I will say though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my little slash brag once again, because I'm a terrible person. And I like slash bragging. I'm 2-0 against Cryok on ladder, and I actually beat him today. It's actually really weird, because right before Gosu Cup started, <laughs> I was laddering, and then I hit Cryok, and I beat him, and I got C+. And then he just, like, goes into Gosu Cup and destroys really good players. So I actually don't know what happened there, but, uh, but yeah. Now, he did kind of cheese Gotunk out. He two-facted him, and Gotunk went for a one-gate expand, but... He still beat Gotunk, man, and he beat Eon Zerg. I don't know how he beat Eon Zerg, but I mean, you know, it was a TVZ, so maybe he can beat Pike. Who knows? Who knows? Meanwhile, the Overlord going in the right direction because Pike uh, because Pike has map hacks activated, and by that I mean it's a uh, it's a two-player map. Uh, Cryok is a solid C plus. He's like 50-50. He's like half, you know, like uh, 150 wins, 150 losses. C plus. So I have, I mean, but he beat Eon Zerg and 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 Gotunk, which is crazy. And I, I don't know, man. I guess we'll see what happens against Pike. And for those of you who apparently were just not listening to me earlier, this is not the other semifinal. This is the round of eight match between Pike and Cryok. Um. Which I'm doing because I don't have the other same final to do. <clears throat> so, do, 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 do. there's a pool. Standard stuff from Pike and Cryok has walled himself in. Is he gonna take his gas though? No, it looks like he's not. It looks like he's just gonna do a one rack uh, expand, but with a wall in. Uh, now I don't actually know if this is linked height. Looks like there's a bit of a gap here, but I'm not really sure. The walls on the the walls on alternative are, are kind of weird. Anyway, man, I I cannot tell you how hard I am trying not to respond to people in chat right now, because not only is Storku trolling me, but like Puppy Killer is here, and Puppy killer, man. Uh, no wonder people grudge match you. Anyway. Actually, I think, I, I think I'm just... I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Alright. I'm done. I'm done. It is a one-rex FE. I mean, there's nothing interesting happening yet, so... I'm just like reading the chat, <laughs> as I do. Scanning a CV, staying alive. Uh, bleh, bleh. So 
So, looks like one Ling gonna wander over here as a bunker being made. Um, I mean, Cryok, he's just doing standard stuff. He's not uh, not doing any kind of cheese to take out Pike. It's like going for a fast plus one build, no less. So, yeah, I mean, I would, like, if I was him, I would totally just BBS the shit out of Pike. Because he's like he's like a freaking A minus Zerg. If you're C plus man, you just you just cheese that guy. I mean like what he did to Gotunk. I'm actually curious, can somebody go and quickly um and quickly watch the replay versus uh, of uh of Cryok versus Eon Zerg and like tell me what the builds were? Because I wanna know if Cryok actually cheesed Eon Zerg or if he played a long game. Because if he played a long game and beat Eon Zerg, it's possible that he can do something against Pike. Like maybe his TBZ is just really, really good. I don't know. He like he could be one of those players that just like has a really, really strong matchup and like a really weak one. So when they you know, so overall his rank isn't that high, but maybe he's like a TBZ specialist kind of thing, kinda like how I'm a PvP specialist, so like I've beaten good Protosses even though I shouldn't have, because I'm not that good overall. Anyway. One Ling at the right side for some reason, I have no idea. Second uh, Creep Colony. And you guys are just gossiping about me. You guys are gossiping about my hot body. It's alright, I understand. I understand, I'm pretty desirable, I know. And ooh, I think that SCV got close enough to see the Spire. Uh, even if he didn't actually click on it, he should just be able to tell from the building size, I think. So it's a little bit smaller than a den, I think. Anyway. A couple of idle SCBs, not ideal. There are the four racks, as expected. So, yeah. I mean, it looks like it's going to be 3H Muta against uh, plus one four racks. It's kind of <laughs> kind of what we've been seeing a lot lately, because fast plus one seems to be like the new, the new in thing. It's the cool thing to do. And that's fine. Sail body thread got closed. <laughs> oh, but that thread, man. That thread. You guys. Yeah, it looks like we have 900-900 uh, saved up for the mutas. Gonna be able to pop out nine of those bad boys. You can actually make ten of those now. Which is fine. Go, mutas! Go! Yeah! Nine mutas on the way. And it looks like he's actually gonna take the top left base as his third. Now that is actually a very interesting choice. Uh, I wonder if Pike's actually practiced this map because, uh, well several reasons. First of all, the other two bases, like the, the left side base and the mineral only, uh, it's, it's hard to defend with like just a couple of lurkers. Like this base has the ramp so you can just put lurkers on it, but like the gas on this side has like these, uh, has two entrances and it's not a ramp so it's a little bit harder to defend. But also, uh, because Pike's mutas are going to be so much more maneuverable than the M and M, if you look at the ground distance, actually the ground distance from Cryox main to that base is actually quite long. Uh, whereas the mutas will be able to bounce back and forth to defend that base and harass the main, uh, the Terran's main. So I quite like that choice of a third base. And speaking of which, the uh, mutas are coming in here and. Oh, he's actually just A-moving here, he's got a Ling in there to help out, but here come the Marines, and they do have plus one already, so, oh man, wow, losing three Mutas already, Pike, taking a lot of damage, I think a little bit overconfident there, he killed like a turret, and like an SCV, and that's it, and oh man, taking even more damage, but, Cryox gotta be careful though, because this is a cliff, uh, looks like Pike gonna go in and pick off some more Marines, he's really gotta be careful though, the plus one really hurts those Mutas, and oh my god, he's just flying through turrets, Pike, Pike, what are you doing? Oh my god, Pike taking so much damage! Oh god! He didn't even, he's not even shooting anymore, he's just like taking damage, he's just taking it. Oh man, what was that? Oh. Jadong would be appalled. I'm appalled. What? Oh man. So anyway, Krauk's now gonna move out. He's gonna get some free links. What is what is Pike doing? Is Pike like drunk or something? <laughs> because what he's like suiciding mutas, he's suiciding links. This is this is not Pike level play. Um Okay, a factory's being made. Plus one is uh, over half or plus one arm is over halfway done. 
and this this push, he's got he's got one lurker morphing, but here we go. There's a stim. Quiox is gonna go for the bust. Pike, his lurker's not out yet. He's only got one making. He's got some more hydros. He needs to make the lurkers. Where are the medics though? Cryok with only two medics for this entire forest. Oh my god, Cryok! He snipes the lurker, but oh man! This game, the suicide armies. <laughs> he killed a lurker and then lost everything. I don't know why he had only two medics there. Dude, make some medics, man. Sausage fests are like even worse in Brood War than they are in real life. Oh god, and now suddenly Cryok, it looks like he might have just completely wasted the good advantage that he had. Pike, Pike just handed him all of those mutas, and now Cryok just has nothing left. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anyway, so it looks like Pike has uh, found out how to meet a micro now. So he's got a couple of lurkers at the third base. He's mining the gas. Is he going up to hive? I don't see a queen's nest just yet, though. Should have a queen's nest. Interestingly, he's got double evo, but he hasn't actually used this one. I wonder if that's uh, he just forgot and he made a second one by mistake, or he's actually going to go for double upgrades. Um, I guess we'll see. Anyway, science facility is on the way. Looks like siege mode as well. So Krak is not. I mean, he's not dead now, but man, he had he had such a good position there and he just threw it away. I'm so sad. I mean I can kind of understand his reasoning. He was like okay, the lurkers aren't out yet. Pike lost a ton of mutas. Let me just try and kill him right now you know, while he's weak because in a long game, I mean, it's going to be very difficult to beat Pike so, you know, he just wanted to go for the win but for whatever reason, he had only two medics. I mean, this is not enough medics, man. Uh, Cryok, he's a woman hater. He's like LRM game, he just doesn't like women. Anyway. And, oh, another Muta getting taken down. So, Pike's Muta Micro is still not impressing this game, but I mean, he's getting his Hive up. And... Oh, I heard a Siege Tank. Or, wait, I heard something explode. Ah, spam! Spam, 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 spam. Looks like Pike gonna go take a fourth gas over at the left side. He's a bit supply capped at 100, but uh, not the huge. Deal. Actually, it looks like his supplies are almost dead even. About 104 now to 100. And looks like uh, Pike continuing to micro against Marines with no medic support. Um, Cryok having some serious issues with, with balancing his, uh, his army composition there. Looks like there's a scan to make sure there's no lurkers in the back. The lurkers reposition themselves. But I still think they're out of range of... I think the Marines can still range the hatchery. Now, how good is the Marine control? Is he Slayer's Boxer? Is he Slayer's Scan? No, not really. So, the Hive is almost done. Uh, looks like he is getting melee. He's actually, he's actually getting triple upgrades. Pike, go for the triple upgrades. Now, in, uh, Pike, I do know that in the late game... In late game ZVT, he actually likes to add Hydras to his composition. He goes like... Hydra, Ling, Lurker, Defiler, so um, this triple upgrade is not is not completely crazy for him because he does that kind of weird style. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Oh, oh, going for another drop. Uh, Scourge have very short, short sign range. I don't think they'll see it.